or welcome back to my book channel. My name is Lady Lauren Explorer and there is Prince. <laughs> um, today I have a, another book that you all might not like, but I like this trope very much, and that's the infidelity or cheating trope. And I got this from the Cheating Remix Facebook group. It's called Goalie by M.E. Carter. And this definitely has the angst, especially in the very beginning, that I needed when I was like looking for a cheating romance. <laughs> so let's talk about it. But first, let me ask you, how are you all doing? It is very hot. I've been getting like heat advisories, all that kind of stuff. And also, what are you all reading? Because I've been on like an infidelity kick for a minute. So I'm slowly getting out of it. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Let's talk about this book. So in Going, we follow Santos and... Um, Murray, Mari, Marina, but like they call her Mari. Santos has a cheating problem. Um, and we like get, we first start off with Maria going to a woman that she thinks her husband is cheating on her with because she's a part of the group now because she's also, she's now a girlfriend to one of the players. She used to be a groupie. And this is following a interconnective series. You can just read it by myself. Like I'm just reading this by, by myself, mainly because I don't want to like other women or women. And Tiffany, who, she, who Maria is going to meet, is one of the other women. So she asks Tiffany, like, have you slept with my husband? And Tiffany goes, yes, I have. I'm sorry that I did that. Um, I, yeah, I was just focusing on me. I didn't care about, I didn't think I was hurting anyone. I just cared about, like, what I was going through and if they were willing. So then Marie is like, okay, thank you for telling me. But in order for me to, like, confront him about this, He'll, he's going to lie and say he's never done this with you. So I need you to give me something that lets me know that you really did sleep with my husband. And so she goes, well, he hums when he comes. And so she's like, yep, yeah, he really did sleep with you. And um, that night, Santos is boning someone else. Um, and he's talking about like why he's doing it because he kind of feels guilty, but it's been part of his routine forever that like he doesn't think having dirty after um, the game sex is meant for his wife. He doesn't want to leave that that um, that dirtiness for her. She deserves to be made love to. So that's how he like compartmentalizes what he's doing. And that's what he's saying is this is due perspective. And while he's doing that, again, he's he just finished having sex with some woman, um, on another groupie, gets Cuban cigar, gets drunk, and then like he's making his way home and he falls asleep on the couch. He wakes up and realizes the house is like very silent. Um, but he's like, oh, maybe Maria has taken the kids out to this park, um, they'll be back. He goes about his day for a minute, like wakes up, you know, brushes his teeth, goes into the closet to like ch change clothes because he's smelled like sex and cigars and drugs, um, not drugs, alcohol. And then he realizes that like her shoes, like 10 of her shoes are gone and all of her underwear is gone. Some of her clothes are missing. And then he starts panicking and he goes into his kid's room because they have kids, they have three, and realizes all his son's kid stuff gone. All his little girl's things are gone. So then he like starts panicking even more. And he texts her, he's just like, hey, 
I need you to talk to me. Are you guys okay? What's going on? And she messages back and says, hey, everything's fine. We're staying at mom's house uh, for, for a couple of weeks. There's a note for you on the kitchen table. He goes to put the notes and the note is basically saying, I love you so much, but I don't deserve having an unfaithful husband. I'm done. And that starts our whole grieving about being cheated on, wanting to get back together with the significant other and the process it takes if you're going to do it to get back together. And that's what this book was. The first half of the book was really good. I love the angst. I love how heart-wrenching she felt when she found out her husband has done this. And then I also loved when they were in um, couples therapy and she realized that throughout her whole entire marriage, even when they were like dating, he was messing around with groupies. There is a reason, I don't think it's a good reason, but there is a reason why he's been doing this. But to each his own on how you feel about the getting back together with your significant other or your partner when they have done this un like very bad thing to you. It's very traumatic for the whole entire family too. The latter half I could have like I was okay with like I'm okay with them trying to get back together. I kind of wish that like Maria wasn't so indecisive. Like I understand not indecisive. It's just that she didn't know. She and it's not a fault on her own because I don't know what I would do in a situation, but I just felt so discombobulated every time she would want to not be with him, but still love him and then not be with him and still love him and then go on dates and still talk about him. It's just like, I was just like, okay, well, like, I don't think you're over him and maybe you should work that out yourself before you start trying to date again. And actually someone does point that out to her and that makes her open her eyes again and be like, okay, yeah. I do love him and I can't trust him, but I do want to get back together and we can work on trust. And that's basically that's it. Like that's that's it. This was a three. Um, mainly because I love the inks in the like half of this book. But once you get part like to the part where they have well, where she decides that she wants to separate from him. It felt very like dry. I don't know, for me, it was just like not there um, emotionally. Uh, I felt that the author was like teasing the get together when you should have just like got together in the first place. Like, if we're going to do this, you might as well just like jump into it and not um, the whole like lag last this out for a while, a couple of pages, and bring me into this world of like, do you do you not do you do you not and I'm just like I don't like I don't care anymore like I don't care anymore um and that's how I felt during the latter half of this book so I will say that like again the first half motions were there I was just I was feeling it I was like yes give me the angst, give it to me. And then once they got there, they're like divorce settled and all that kind of stuff. I was just like, okay, well, all right, you're going to get back together, obviously. Um, but like, why? <laughs> I'm just rehashing it. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. My name is Lady Lauren Explorer, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs>